Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina of FletcherCreekCottage.com and today I'm here to share with you how we designed and built this custom garden fence using Simpson Strong Ties free fence planning software. To get started designing your new custom fence software, go to Simpson Strong Tie Fence Planner Software and click New Fence Project. Give your project a name. You can choose to create your design in 2D or 3D. As you design, you can toggle the dimensions on and off. The settings menu on the left will allow you to completely customize your fence. Click reset on the right to reset your camera at any time. You can choose the wind speed in your area, the post spacing, as well as the post height. You can also choose the type of fence picket you're gonna be using. An in-app tutorial can be accessed at any time during your design process and you can find a full tutorial on simpsonstrongtie.com as well as on their YouTube channel. When you start, choose draw lot to draw out the area where your new fence will go. Choose your posts, spacing, as well as your fence panels, type of wood and colors. Design your fence according to your needs and when you have your fence all drawn up, you can even go back and add the landscape and hardscapes to your fence project. This allows you to visualize and make any needed adjustments before getting started, taking the worry out of your design project. Once you have your fence completely designed, it's time to generate a report. Click report on the top left of the screen for a full materials list. For a report of the full plans, specifications, materials list, and cut list, click PDF report. We designed our garden fence to be a rectangle and it's gonna meet up with the greenhouse and the chicken coop. I chose a three rail fence panel and added two more rails for a total of five rails to make it extra tall to keep the deer out of my garden. The length is 54 feet and the width is 34 feet. The spacing is eight feet between almost all of our posts but a little shorter on the corners and near the gates. We chose to add a double gate in the front section of our fence and a three foot gate on the side near the chicken coop for easier access. We used treated four by four posts, spacing them roughly eight feet apart and adjusting where needed between the greenhouse and the new chicken coop. We used treated two by six boards for the top four rows of the fence and two by four treated boards for the very bottom row of the fence. This board will come in contact with the ground and help hold the pea gravel in and the grass out of our garden area. After we ordered our product using the materials list generated on the report, we were ready to get started. I really wanted a white fence, so before we built the fence, I laid out all of the lumber and primed and painted all of the boards and posts in advance. Next, we measured out the spacing and staked all four corners. We squared up the garden using a string line before marking all of the grass with spray paint where each post needed to go. We decided to rent a huge post hole auger and I'm so glad that we did. My son and husband were able to dig 22 holes in under an hour with that machine. It was a huge time saver. Once all the holes were dug, we made a two-sided jig to use to attach all of the Simpson strong tie fence brackets to the four x four posts. We kept the top rail flush to the top of the post and then spaced out the remaining rails evenly down the post. After all the four x four posts were pre-assembled with their fence brackets, we started setting them one at a time. We started in the center where the double gate would be and added concrete mix to the holes for extra reinforcement on either side of the gate. We used a four foot level to set each post all while making sure we kept our post flat to our string line and our depth was correct. Instead of setting all the posts and then going back and adding the rails, we decided to set two posts and then add all of the five rails in between as we went along. We anchored all the rails to the Simpson Strong Tie fence brackets using the number nine, one and a half inch hex screws. We worked our way around the garden until we came to the greenhouse. Then we used the same fence brackets to anchor the rails directly to the side of our greenhouse. Once all the posts and rails were in place, we built three custom gates with treated two by six boards. And then we secured all the inside corners using the Simpson Strong Tie rigid tie bracket to prevent any sagging on the gates. After our gates were hung, I gave the entire fence one more coat of paint using the Bear Marquee exterior paint in the color Whisper White to match the chicken coop. Then I installed the hardware cloth 
to the entire interior perimeter of the fence and the gates to make sure to keep any unwanted critters out of my garden. So the top rail of the fence is five feet tall and they say deer can jump eight feet. So I'll be adding a string of hot wire to the perimeter a few feet above the top rail. This fence planning software makes it super easy to customize your garden fence. Sadly, last year, my entire garden was lost to deer and wildlife. So building this fence was top priority for me this spring. And I'm really excited about how this project turned out. Now I can rest assured that all of my vegetables and plants will be safe and sound. If you missed phase one of our backyard project, be sure to check out our DIY chicken coop video to see how we designed and built our new custom chicken coop slash garden shed. And for more information about this project or any other projects, be sure to follow along at FletcherCreekCottage.com.